Yes, welcome to Wild Watch. I'm your large aquatic friend, and we're at Eddington Raceway on Sunday afternoon. We've got an eight race car. They're a little bit of a later start, 12.43 for race number one. And my best of the day goes around in the last leg of the early quarters. In the form of forgiveness, we tipped her out two starts ago. She got the money, and then last start, she had a bit of an excuse. Picked them up here, pulled the ends colours back on the inside here in the black. And I thought she ran to the line really nicely in a far, far stronger field. This race was taken out by Here Comes Jane. You can see her in the black colours, just angling out Bob's trying to get a gap that just doesn't really appear. She comes through the middle, she comes through late and she was actually travelling quite nicely at the line. What you hadn't seen is she made a mistake at the start. She goes to a mobile 1980 on Sunday afternoon and she gets in here beautifully. I thought she's well placed. I thought her debut uh, maiden win was really strong and I think she's in the right race. No fixed does record on Thursday morning but she's my best of the day. Race four, number five, forgiveness. The main danger is Rush who's drawn to her immediate inside. Now going around in race number five, a that I thought was very good last start and a strong field behind Jimmy Ray was Paraki Sealster. Let's pick them up. It was a standing start, 2,600 metres. He stepped away nicely. Ended up parked out, got pushed back to three back on the outside. He's in the blue colours. Ricky May's gold cap about to try to angle outside Raging Whitebait. So the winner's in the pink colours. Raging Whitebait to its media outside. You've got Ted's Legacy here and Spirit of Anarchy right down the outside. Thought he ran to the line really nice. He's got good manners. He gets in here as the highest rated horse. He's off the 10 metres but it's not a big field. I think he can win here. Ricky May takes the drive again. The main danger, the real McCoy, who has to back up from racing at Addington on Friday for Carter Dal Giddy. Now going into the last, the sectional standout for me from last week was Emma Swan. Gee, this was a good run. This mare by Highview Tommy. I know she's a five-year-old, but she's racing great. So she's back in the field, third to last here. Tim Williams' black cap here has got the big, giant, golden hand on it. It's about to come to the outside and make a really good run. Now, I thought it hit the line nicely. It gets into the right race here, Emma Swan. She's a kind of a mare that you have to drive her with a sit. And when she does, she can really power home. Best sectional was out of the race. 158, 57, last quarter, 27-3. That's her with the yellow breastplate dashing into third. Five-year-old mare by Highview. Tommy, she only lightly raced. She only had the seven starts. And I thought, even though she's drawn out wide, the 2,600 metres will kind of negate that. She gets the right run. She'll power home, Emma Swan, in the last. Main danger, Ferns, Goldie, and Treacherous Miss, if you're taking a Quinella. Let's have a the three highlight for you on Sunday afternoon. The best bet's race four. It's number five, Forgiveness. Paul Nien, Bob, but hard to beat. Value bet, or one of the black bookers anyway. Race five, number seven, Paraki Sealster was good last start. And the sectional standout off the clock was race eight, number eight, Emma Swan.